Hello friends, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to talk to you about a problem I see that's going to be in, in the future, maybe not right now, but for Amazon.com sellers who are trying to not work as hard, basically. That's really what they're trying to do. I was trying to think of a nicer way of putting it, but that's all they, they just don't want to work as hard. And so there's these things that have popped up recently, prep services, basically you ship your items to them, they list them for you, they label them, they ship them in Amazon. You don't have to do any work. It sounds great, doesn't it? One of the fatal flaws many businesses have is they outsource their control over their business. It's one thing to send stuff into Amazon FBA and have them fulfill the items when you're listing it on Amazon's marketplace. That's reasonable. You still own the items. They fulfill them for you. But you're opening up a new door of potential problems when you give over your control to these prep services. Now I know some of you will say, well, they have good reputations. My friend is an FBA seller. They told me how great the, this company was and they're really good. I've used them for months, have no problems. And I'm not denying any of that. That might be true for now. But there's some obvious problems on the horizon. First thing, if you're having your suppliers ship in items to these people, what is stopping them from seeing the item you are now selling and buying from that same source. They already do the prep work. They'd make more profit that way. If you're able to pay them a dollar or two per item to prep the item, all they gotta do is cut you out of the mix and just prep the items themselves that they buy. Basically, you would be sourcing for them. And you're giving up your sometimes proprietary sourcing information to an unknown person, a third party, which is not a good idea. Secondly is the obvious thing of you have no control over what they do with the item, if they ship the items correctly, if they label them correctly. What happens when you lose your account? And this is going to happen. People are going to start losing accounts because some prep company messed up and sent the wrong items in or sent them in the wrong condition or put the wrong labels on. There are going to be problems. And I'm just telling you, it's going to happen. And this happens when you give over your control to other people. It's a bad business move. And one of the third things probably is going to be some of these companies are just going to steal your products. I know nobody wants to hear this, but this is just a realistic thing. Some of these companies are going to disappear. You're going to ship them in. They're going to work for a few months. And then all of a sudden they stop shipping your stuff in Amazon and you start calling them and you don't get an answer. And then they're gone and you lose inventory. What you have to do is stop being lazy. Stop trying to find the shortcut to everything in life. Stop trying to have a four hour work week and start working harder. Stop with this nonsense about working smarter, not harder and start working harder. I know you don't want to hire employees, but go hire some employees and get them to prep your work for you. Prep the products, label them and ship them in Amazon yourself under your control. That way you know what happens. You know what was shipped in is correct you know things are being done properly and you have full control of your inventory. It's insane to give up control of your inventory to another third party just to save a few hours of time when you can just hire other people and have them do it for you and you maintain full control over your inventory. This is not a good idea. I know people argue and say, well, you don't understand. This saves me a lot of time and I work a full-time job. Well, if you work a full-time job and you're sending stuff into Amazon FBA, you're obviously not making enough money because you wouldn't still be working a full-time job. So this may not affect you because you don't have a, a real business going yet. You may get there and that'll be great. But if this is your full-time business and you're going to put it in the hands of a third party and they literally control your account, you give them access. Now, yes, you can limit the access they have, but if they make mistakes on shipping these items in, you could get permanently suspended from Amazon. Get your account terminated. Your selling privileges terminated. This is a bad idea. You should never put that kind of leverage, that kind of control of your business in someone else's hands. That is something you keep under your control at all times. And you're willing to give up your potential lifetime earnings in this business to a third party just in order to save a little bit of time. My friends, this is foolishness. Now, you can do whatever you want. I'm just telling you, watch for it. Over the next months and years, you will see 
some of these prep companies disappear. They went out of business. They stole inventory. They started selling the items you were shipping into them because they saw your supplier and just started buying the items and selling them themselves. What's to stop them from doing that? Some of you have private label items. You'll start getting a lot more competitors because these prep companies will take your items and say, hey, listen, we know this product sells 10,000 a month and they'll give it out to a group that they sell a list to or something. And they'll sell your data basically on your sales figures because they know roughly you're sending in 10,000 items to them a month of this one private label item. This item sells 10,000 at least a month. They can sell it to other people who would be willing to pay money for that information. And then all of a sudden you got a lot of competitors and your price goes down the tubes or your sales just drop off. So don't think private label is some magic to save you from this problem too. And also what will happen is some of these places are going to really make mistakes and they won't do it instantly, but as they get bigger and more crowded and more work going on, they're going to make mistakes and it's going to cost people their Amazon businesses completely, 100%. They're going to lose their accounts. They're going to have their accounts suspended and that's that. So I'm telling you, mark the date in the calendar. That's what will be happening. I've been in business long enough. I've seen these kind of things pop up where people try to take shortcuts and I've seen what it does to the businesses. It always ends in failure. My friends, I hope this has been a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.